welcome to video 500 where we recap my 2022 greatest pack pulls and graded card returns. At the end of the video, go down below in the comments, let me know what your favorite thing was in this video montage, and you are entered to win this graded Pikachu card from Tops. Do it, be there, be square, enjoy it, run the tape. <laughs> this card it's got like a spine down the middle of it right there but besides that these cards are dang clean literally pack fresh um, we're gonna see now if this is the in fact the uh, the dark magician girl what Jesus um, it's not a 10 it's not a 10 but that is uh that is extremely close to a 10 and I am extremely happy with that. Those are pretty low pop. Um this one is an extremely low population. PSA 10 population 1. This is uh an awesome card. If you're a Pikachu Ash collector, this is going to hit home for you. I am neither of those, but I I'm extremely happy I got a 10 on this. So this is going straight into inventory. This, this is the Blastoise I purchased from the local card shop out of their hollow. Um, they have a hollow, holographic box of cards just in sleeves lined up. And I pulled this one out. And this one obviously pulled the 10, which is absolutely amazing. Beautiful card. And the last one was the Tyranitar. This one was the only Expedition 10 that I got back from SGC. So. One in five minimum guarantee. So let's get right into it. We've got a golden ticket. <laughs> That's it, brother. We got a golden pack. Base unlimited. Oh no, it's jungle. All right. Sad, but still awesome. Gotta open it, right? Gotta open it. I only spent 50 bucks on it. If it was a Zapdos pack, I'd probably keep it sealed and put it with my other two that I got, but... You see this line going down the middle of the pack? I wonder if it's damaged. I don't know what kind of line that is, but there's a line going down it. So this is pretty awesome. I'm gonna have to open this because reasons. This is a pretty clean plat, pretty clean pack. I should weigh this, but that's not fun. Please let this be the first hollow I pull. The odds are way against me. This is sweet. I cannot believe I got a freaking gold pack. One in 25. Preserve the pack art. Well done. I don't want to do the card trick because I can always tell if it's a hollow. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go into it. Not even look at the side of it because that does it too. This is awesome. <laughs> this is what it's all about. Execute. Mankey. I've seen so many of these cards, but it, it just feels different. Cubone. Venonat, Jigglypuff, Eevee, wow, I got some bangers if this was a first head pack, and a non hollow Kangaskhan. This is amazing. Um, cannot tell you how excited this is. This is definitely going to be grading the hollow hits if there is any. If there isn't any, I will be probably pretty sad because likely these three light packs are not hollows. Right off the bat, we got basically. A goblin attack force. Alright, not looking good from the side. Okay, Indomitable Fighter Lele, Poison Draw Frog, played the crap out of that card in one of my frog decks. Steamroid, Mad Lobster, and I pulled the freaking Cyber and Dragon, bro. Let's freaking go! 
Dude, this is freaking amazing. What the heck? Holy cow. I literally pulled the card off the pack art. You don't see that every day. It's not an ultimate rare, but holy heck. Usually no problem preserving pack arts. That's insane, dude. Definitely grading that son of a gun. Poison Draw Frog. Another Steamroid. Mad Lobster. Same pack. Tyranno Infinity. And a freaking Cyber Dragon! Let's go! Oh my god. Jesus. You cannot get a better pack unless you get an Ultimate Rare. Literally, those are probably the best two packs you could pull from this entire box. Without pulling an Ultimate Rare. So you could probably tell what this is. This is one of the God cards. PSA 10, Wing Dragon of Ra. From the Game Boy Advance. This is insane. This came from that $200 collection. The condition of those cards, in, like they should not be this good. Obelisk, the Tormentor, PSA 10 absolute beast um so let's just see what we got shall we i'm not gonna look show you guys first where we're at that's freaking dope dude so i haven't looked at the subgrades because they're really small looking through the camera at it but let's go dude cgc8 literally i nailed it on the head um so let's look at the subgrades i guessed Centering nine, it got a nine. Corners eight, it got an eight. Surface eight, it got an eight. Edges seven, I guessed, and it got a 7.5. I was 0.5 off on my estimated subgrades. 0.5. So if you were to add all the subgrades up, my estimation versus actual, I was I estimated 0.5 below the actual, which is freaking insane. Pretty excited. First edition, Wizards of the Coast. This is insane for me. And I will likely grade, depending on the condition, every card. We'll see. Through maybe CGC, I'm not sure. Cubone. Paris. All these rookie cards, man. All of them. Rhyhorn, the card I would like to see the most. Personal favorite from Jungle. Hmm. Let's see. I'd probably say the Flareon is like my favorite art out of Jungle. And I guess I'll just go with Flareon. Venonat. Bellsprout. Awesome card. Can't wait to go look back at the conditions on these. Spiro. I think we're getting close to the hit. Maybe one more behind this. Meowth, nice. That's a good one. No Jungle Pikachu. This might be the foil. Normal card, Pidgeot. Kangaskhan, let's go. Some sick cards, dude. I got a handful of starters, could not complain. But the money card is a Blastoise, bro. I hit the freaking Blastoise. That was so sick. The audio of this original video was so atrocious that your ears would have been bleeding for the next three weeks. So I've decided to save you from that. The Blastoise card was in pretty dang good condition. Um, I might have damaged it a little bit. Jeez. So this thing upgraded. This thing went from a uh, CGC 8.5 to a PSA 8. Back up to a CGC 9 opening up my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh set of all time in first edition in what I believe is a hobby box. Patrician of Darkness. A faint, faint plan. Dragon's Rage. I keep looking under it and I gotta look at the screen. Dragon's Rage. Skull Knight number two and Yada Yes! Let's go! Oh! Yes! The centering looks bomb, dude, dude. The centering looks freaking bomb. Let's mother effing go. I really hope you enjoyed that montage video because I had a great time putting it together, reliving all those moments. It was freaking awesome. 
Just a reminder, down below in the comments, enter which one of those items were your favorite or were the coolest memory that you had experiencing on my channel. You are entered to win this Pikachu. Do it. I will talk to you all later. Peace. <laughs>